in this tutorial we will create some exercises based on what we learn in basics tutorial 2 so we'll be creating this object so we'll be take the limit of 150 150 so give limits command enter load left corner 0 comma 0 enter upper right 150 comma 150 then zoom all z enter enter then we will switch to 3d modeling then from unsaved view select ACI symmetric then shift it use this icon enter no region then we will create a rectangle of 66 by 42 so take a line command first point make ortho on give the direction length is 66 and 42 track the point connect enter then we will press pull, press pull it by 12 enter then we will change the visual style to shade it with edges then next we have to chamfer this two edges by 12 12 distance for that we will take chamfer then select first line so actually we want to chamfer this these two edges so we will we have to select this face actually so we will say next so it will automatically go to that face then click on ok then specify base distance of 12 other surface distance of 12 press enter then select the edges this edge and this edge then press enter so that chamfer is created then next we have to create this part so the height total height of this part is 27 plus 21 is 48 so we'll just copy this edge here from here extra edges copy edges select this edge enter this point direction distance of 12 enter then click on exit to come out then again we will press pull it by 48 so press pull select this portion height of 48 press enter to come out then here is circular part is there the radius of that part is 21 so we will fillet these two lines by 21 radius so fillet select first object this object we will select it then radius will be 21 enter then select an edge we have to fillet this edge also so we will select this edge also press enter so in this way this part is created then next will be this triangle so it is of 42 and here 66 minus 12 that means 54 so we will 42 54 we will create again this triangle will be on the front plane so we will take from here change the plane to front then create using line select line give the direction 42 and here 66 minus 12 that is 54 so we will give here 54 then we will connect it again to starting point then press enter then we will press pull this part press pull select click inside give the direction give the width of 12 press enter to come out we don't want this grid so we will make it off from here grid display now actually the midpoint of this point is at the midpoint of this point so we will just move it move select object enter then base point will be midpoint of this line and second point will be midpoint of this line so we will erase it give e enter select object to erase we will select all the unnecessary object double click 
on scroll to zoom extent then we can connect this object using union command so it will be a single object so in this way this object is created then next object we will be creating so new drawing is started so next object we will be creating this one so here suppose we will again take 150 150 as a limit so again limits lower left 0 comma 0 upper right 150 comma 150 press enter then z enter a enter for zoom all then again from here this is isometric UCS icon UCSI enter no region then we will create this rectangle of 98 by 42 extrude by 20 so again we will take line first point ortho on 98 enter then on this side 42 again track the point end point don't click there just hold the cursor for a while and go on the right side and click and again connect enter then we will press pull this shape by press pull click inside give the height of 20 press enter to come out again to give a 3d look we will choose from here shaded with edges then there is below a cut is there this cut is there of 6 and 14 14 from both sides so we will just copy edges so from here we will take copy edges select the edges enter this point direction 14 distance again copy from this edge enter this point direction distance of 14 again copy this bottom edge now here when I select he is giving me a error a 3d solid must be selected he is giving this error because originally we created one rectangle so we are not able to click on the 3d object actually so in this case what we can do we can move this above object move select this object and these lines suppose we will use then these lines so these lines are also to select these lines properly we will use 2d wireframe then move this object these lines and this 3d object enter this point give other point so we will erase this rectangle double again we will view it in shaded with edges now we can copy from below edges copy edges below line enter base point direction is upward distance of 6 then exit exit and we have to cut this through completely so again we will use press pull then click inside go outside take your cursor outside and click there so it will create a hole automatically by holding down the shift and scroll you can orbit manually press enter to come out then these lines are not required again we can erase these lines select erase and click on again these lines ok this line has been selected so by mistake we selected this 3d object just hold the shift and click on that so it will remove from the selection set press enter again we will go to 2d wireframe and erase this line you can also give e enter select this line enter again we will come back to shaded with edges so this bottom part is created then next is this part is there 14 width 42 la width like this and total height will be 20 plus 21 42 so we'll just create this part so here we'll create one line from mid to mid enter then we will offset this line by 7 7 on both side so from here we will choose offset then give the distance of 7 enter select this line on this side click on this side again select this line click on this side enter it is the inside line now press pull this part by 42 
click inside give the height of 42 enter escape then from here is a again that circular part is there so again we will use fillet select first line give the radius of 21 select other line press enter so this has been created so at the center of this there is one more hole is there of 20 diameter so we will create one circle there again this circle to be created on the right plane actually or you can also use here dynamic UCS so it will automatically switch the UCS so we will take circle go inside so it, it highlights the part that means it is selecting that portion so we will take the center so just take your cursor on the circle and come back to center and give the radius of 10 so this is created again you can cut it using press pull click inside give the direction and click press escape to come out then next will be the fillet again of radius 5 you add 4 places so again we will use the fillet command fillet then select first line give the radius of 5 then select other line this line so again same problem there is already one normal line is there therefore it is not selecting so we will create that fillet later on press enter so these two fillets has been created again we will move this object so that we can erase those line so move select object enter give base point other point so we'll erase all those things now we will fillet it fillet select this line give the radius of 5 is already there press enter then hold shift and scroll and rotate mouse drag mouse select other line press enter in this way fillet is created then next next will be the holes you have to create these holes so these holes are at a distance of 24 from this line but here we already created a fillet so we will minus that for you so the distance actually if you copy this edge the distance will be actually 19 so we'll just copy the edge so go to this here extract edges click on arrow copy edges click on this edge enter base point direction give the distance of 19 press enter then exit exit then we will go for a symmetric so we can view it properly then the circle to be created is of 6, 6 radius and then other is at a distance of 50 from here so we will just create a circle center radius give the midpoint and give the radius of 6 then same we will need here at distance of 50 we will just copy it using copy command copy select object enter base point direction distance of 50 enter to come out so in this way two circles are created we don't need this line so we will erase it erase select object enter then again click on press pull click inside the circle give the direction and click click inside the circle give direction and click press enter to come out click on asymmetric so in this way this object is created so thanks for joining we will stop here